because she was bound in her mind, worried about what people were going to say. But everybody in the room was lifting their hands. Yeah, yeah. But she felt some type of way. Yeah. So I want to tell you today, be free yeah. to lift you. If you want to run around, if you want to lay out, because God is dealing with you, us individually. He may not deal with you like he did with me. You might see me laid out before the Lord. Because I'm open to let God do whatever he want to do. And it may not look on the outside the way it looks on the outside for you. But God is working. He's already working in this room now. And I want to encourage you to keep your hearts and your minds open. Because I don't, I never ever believe that God gives us an opportunity to come together and nobody's life has changed. There's a change that's going to occur in this room today. But it depends on, it, it totally depends on you. I don't know about y'all, but y'all see me down there every Sunday. I am pulling. And I'm putting, the, I'm putting a demand on God's anointing. It's an opportunity. I know you might be thinking about what you're going to eat when you go home. What you're going to do, getting ready for work tomorrow, whatever. Forget about that. Let's put a demand on the anointing of God. From this point on in your life, whenever you're in a service or you're with somebody, put a demand on that anointing. We want the speaker to leave here physically exhausted yeah. because we put a demand on the anointing in her life. But we don't believe God to replenish. We want this praise team to leave here exhausted because we're going to give God everything we got to put a demand on the anointing that God has placed in there. We want these musicians to be tired physically when they leave here because we're going to put a demand on y'all anointing today. Hallelujah. Because we're desperate. It's time out for playtime. We are desperate for what God wants to do. Anybody else desperate? Hallelujah. We're desperate. We're desperate. We're desperate. I'm about to get out of the way. Hallelujah. I guess I'm y'all hype man. I just want to hype y'all up. I want to get y'all minds ready to receive what God wants to do in your life. Because when you're in the room all by yourself, you may not be able to pull the way you can pull when we're together. So take advantage. This is a gift for us. So we're going to pull on the anointing. Sister, I hope you brought some black shoes because we're going to pull on the anointing in your life today. God's going to bless you, but he's going to bless all of us. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm about to move, but I, if, like I said, if you see me laying down, if you see me worshiping and crying, it's just me and Jesus. So don't pay me no mind. All right? So we're going to have the praise team to come. We're about to put a demand on the anointing of God in your life. We're about to pull on the heartstrings of the power of God on the inside of you. So let God have his way in Jesus' name. Come on, put your hands for them as they come.
working it out for you. Does anybody know that he's working it out for you? Come on, do you know that he's working it out for you? Come on, somebody look at your neighbor and say he's working it out for me. Come on, he's working it out for me. He's working it out for me. Come on, he's working it out. today for total word empowerment ministries being here with us on today amen they're here they're here in chicago and they're here in milwaukee they're here on both sides of, on both sides of the border amen and those who are watching and worshiping at home with us our online church our online church members we are thankful today for you all being with us on today. Amen. It looks like Bishop and Lady Spaulding just been popping in with us on today. Come on, y'all. Let's give God praise for them as they come in. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. I'm just seeing Bishop Smith today. Now Bishop Spaulding is here. Amen. This is, this is a blessing. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. That you all like that pop here to be with us and share with us on today. We are honored, we are honored, we're honoring the name of the Lord. We're honoring the name of the Lord. Look, we're gonna get out of the way. We're gonna get out of the way. But before we get out of the way, before we get out of the way, we, we will be remiss in saying that here is spreading the word we have. Okay, all right, we have four core values, right? We have four core values. We have four core values that are wrapped around Four very powerful words. Now, every, now, those for the guests may not know, but spreading the word, y'all better not leave me out here like this. What are those four words that we got? We are passionate about. All right, great. We are passionate about. We are passionate about four things. We're passionate about purpose. We're passionate about loving. We're passionate about giving. And we're passionate about learning. Now, everybody can say this. Everybody say, that's why we're here. That's why we came. That's why y'all see y'all not watching. Y'all are worshiping while you're watching. 
That's why you are sitting behind that screen. That's why you're walking through the mall. That's why you're pushing the, the basket. That's why you're running on the treadmill. That's why you're eating breakfast wherever you're driving down the road. Whatever you are doing, that's why you're here. That's why we came. To be able to give God glory. To give God glory. To give God glory. So again, we are thankful. We are thankful. Short testimony about this magnificent woman of God. This magnificent super friend. And she ain't just a friend. She's a super friend. She had caught us spreading the word at one of the worst times in our church's history. She caught us. And she said, y'all not going through this by yourself. Y'all come on over here and share with us and worship with us. As long as y'all want to be here. They didn't, put, they didn't put no clock on it. And they said, we family, y'all come. And she seated her pulpit. We alternated weeks preaching. Many pastors won't do that. Many leaders won't do that. Never, 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 never made us feel, as y'all like to say, I don't like to say the same, some kind of way. She, the, her and total word always made us feel at home. And so I'm excited to be able to Welcome to spreading the word today. Yes. To be able to preach the word of God to us. And we are going to receive the word of God all together. Yes. One big family told the word and spreading the word. We're going to do it like it's 2018. <laughs> We're going to do it like, like on Columbus Street. We're going to do it like that way. And we're gonna give God praise today. So everyone up on your feet, there, y'all y'all treat up better than y'all treat me, all right? So you come on, y'all get up on y'all feet and let's give God praise for the super friend, the double doctor, Apostle Jeanette Baker, the senior pastor of Total Word Empowerment Ministries, and Total Word Empowerment Ministries Two. Oh, oh, amen. Let's receive it, y'all. Let's give God praise for in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 
Amen. For when the spotlight is on him, everything, hallelujah, everything keeps moving right along. Am I right about that? Amen. Amen. I, I want to steal from my sister in one minute after I get done giving y'all the accolades. Uh, sister, I'm going to tell them I'm not going to be labeled the time. Amen. 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 So two apostles, uh, Jeff and Regina Holiday. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank you guys. Amen. Amen. For Amen. allowing me to grace the pulpit on today. I don't Amen. take that lightly. Amen. Amen. I bless you and spread the word. Yes. Worship center. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. I thank my son and my daughter yes. from coming out to support. Amen. Bishop and Lady Spalding. Bless you. I saw um, Smith. Amen. Amen. And so to Total Word Empowerment Ministry, thank you for coming out with me. Amen. I thank you Total Word Chicago. I thank you Total Word uh, Milwaukee. And I thank you Total Word Cyberspace because I know you're there. Amen. So I bless you on today. Uh, I'm not going to be long. Amen. Praise has already went forth and listen. If he didn't do it for you, I don't know what to tell you. Amen. Amen. I don't know what to tell you. Amen. Hallelujah. If, if Apostle Regina didn't do it for you, I don't know what to tell you. If 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 if, if Apostle uh, Jeff didn't do it, and I don't mean no disrespect calling you Regina and Jeff. We family. Hallelujah. If that didn't do it for you, I don't know what to tell you. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Go with me. Prayer has already went forth. And God already know. I pray, 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 and pray some more. Amen. Hallelujah. But what I do do is, is ask him to direct. Amen. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Come on, guys. Y'all can be seated. Amen. In the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to take my text this morning from Isaiah 55 and 11. Isaiah 55 and 11. Amen. Amen. I feel an anointing right there in Isaiah 55 and 11. Amen. 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 So it reads as follows. If you have it, say, I got it. If you don't, say, wait a minute. I got it. I got it. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 55 and 11. Chapter 55 and 11. It reads as follows. So shall my word be that goeth forward out of my it shall not return unto me void, but it shall, it, somebody say, it shall. it shall. It shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I send it. Wherever I send it, my word is going to prosper. It's got to prosper. Amen. Bless his name. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Take over, God, as always. Have your way in this place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. On this Palm Sunday morning, I came to encourage you spreading the word as well as total word. Amen. And to tell us that whatever we have been praying for, whatever, bless the name of God, uh, uh, we need, whatever God has spoken into our spirit, I came to tell you that uh, it will happen. I don't know, but for some reason, every time we get together, uh, uh, God want me to tell you that whatever it has been, uh, it will happen. Then, amen. Bless his holy name. It will, it will, it will happen. 
helping somebody. Uh, allow me to share with you for one moment uh, my topic by way of uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. Uh, this 11 verse says, uh, my word shall not return unto me void. Amen. I need to speak right now for a minute. Pray with me, y'all. Hallelujah. I need to speak into your spiritual hearing on this morning. I need to tell you my topic on this morning. Bless his name. Hallelujah. My topic, uh, hallelujah, on this morning. Uh, there are no voids in God. Hallelujah. He said, my word will not return to me void. So I need you to get that down in your sanctified spirit on this morning. There are no voids in God. Hallelujah. Isaiah, Isaiah, I like history. Isaiah was one of the major prophets of God. Am I right about that? Isaiah was trusted so much so that he was able to form, he was allowed to form his book into a mini replica of our Holy Bible. Uh, the book of Isaiah was composed of 66 chapters, uh, hallelujah, that are in correspondence with the 66 chapters uh, of uh, the Bible. Uh, if we was to pay close attention, uh, you will find that uh, the first 39 chapters of the book of uh, Isaiah, hallelujah, uh, it, 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 it talks about uh, uh, law and uh, judgment. Uh, thank you, Jesus. And these 39 chapters, uh, uh, they are representing the Old Testament books of the Old Testament and the remaining. 27 chapters uh, in the second section. Uh, these 27 chapters, they correspond with the New Testament uh, in number, messages of comfort, uh, and salvation through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Uh, Isaiah 55, uh, God sends out a promise uh, to those in need in the form of a declaration. God makes this declaration and he intertwines it with a promise. Uh, can I get about three people, uh, hallelujah, uh, uh, that knows our God, uh, hallelujah, uh, uh, is in this house on this morning and, and that knows that our God uh, is a majestic God uh, just like that. Uh, Hallelujah, bless his name. Uh, our God is an awesome God. Uh, how can I get just about a few people to touch and agree with me? Uh, that our God is the God that put the all in awesome. Uh, are you with me on today? Uh, by any chance, just a few people, uh, bless his name, uh, who are willing for a few minutes uh, to agree with me uh, that our God is the God who made wisdom wise. Are you with me on today? Now, what are you talking about, Dr. Baker? I'm glad you asked because in our parent scripture, we see the majestic God take the declaration, take this declaration, and he intertwines it with a promise. Then the promise becomes a proclamation fulfilled. Am I right about that? Hallelujah. In other words, God confidently makes an official, formal, public announcement. In other words, he, God, executes a statement that became a promise. Uh, my word, he said, uh, will not, uh, absolutely not, uh, return unto me void. Uh, hallelujah. I have just a few points right here uh, before I parasail uh, to my conclusion. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> 
I got the parasail on today because I'm so always roller skating and, and boogalooing and, and going on taking my conclusion. I came to drop you a new one in the house. Uh, how we going to parasail, amen, uh, through the parachute of God. Uh, hallelujah. And don't you know that a parasail uh, is pulled by a boat? Uh, so we going to put on the parachute of Jesus uh, and we going to allow the Holy Ghost uh, to pull us. Uh, as we drop the word in the house on today uh, again uh, let me drop my first point in here definitely not gonna be here long uh, my first point is it will happen uh, whatever you've been searching for whatever you've been looking for if God said it uh, I don't care who you are I don't care what you where you come from uh, I don't care what you going through uh, there are no voids in God and if God said it uh, hallelujah uh, it will happen uh, yo, it doesn't have a choice in the matter whatever your it is it don't have a choice we must become bold enough in God uh, to tell the enemy uh, God does not to accept voids. Hallelujah. There are no voids in God. If God said it, it has to produce. Are you listening to me on today? I'm reminded in the book of Genesis, somebody, when God said, let there be light, and his word did not return void. Are you with me? I'm just reminded of somebody in the book of a Genesis, uh, ah, where God said, uh, told the waters, uh, bless his name, uh, to separate, uh, hallelujah, and his word did not uh, return void, uh, for it was in Genesis, somebody, uh, God spoke, uh, and the dry land told the mud, uh, stand down, uh, hallelujah, bless his name, uh, seeds and grass, uh, seeds and fruit uh, showed up somebody uh, because uh, the assignment was not uh, to return void, uh, bless his name. Uh, he told me to encourage you uh, and to tell you uh, that there are absolutely positively uh, no voids uh, accepted in God. Uh, did I tell you uh, that God's word, uh, it has a design that 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 and that design it must be accomplished ah his word ah god he god his word is never can i just get you to pray with me this morning ah somebody say never never ever spoken in vain it shall it shall never fail ah but it will produce. How you with me? Uh, hallelujah. Although it uh, may seem as if God's word may not now, now, now produce uh, all of the good effects uh, that we uh, may desire, I need you to know on this morning uh, that it will ultimately uh, be successful, uh, that it will ultimately uh, fulfill things uh, according to the will and the word uh, of Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior why somebody uh, because there are uh, no boys in God uh, did I tell you uh, that Moses uh, was about 25 years old uh, when he took the inspection uh, tore among his people uh, and saw the oppressive conditions uh, under which they labor, but watch this somebody, 55 years later, God told Moses to tell Pharaoh to release my people, hallelujah, bless his name, thank you Jesus, David, King David, was around 15 years old, when Samuel anointed him king, 15 years later, he fulfilled the position 
position. Why? Because there are no voids in God. I may take a minute, depending on your position, but I stop by on the day to tell you that wait on it. God will not lie. Bless his name. Why? Because there are no voids in God. He told you that in Isaiah 11, 55 and 11. My word that go forth out of my mouth, it would never, ever, ever return back to me before. Are you with me on today? Bless his name. There are no voids in God. Regurgitate your assignment into the atmosphere. But this time, you must stand on Isaiah 55 and 11. My words that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Okay, then, spreading the word. Are you ready to ride out of here with me? I told you I can't be up here long. I'm not a prompt and a primer. If you can't catch the word, I don't know what to do for you. So I got to drop my little Palm Sunday speech and move right along. Bless his holy name. My first point, just in case you don't remember, is it will happen regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what it feels like, regardless to what circumstances say, it will happen. Well, here comes somebody. My point number two, therefore somebody, if it will happen, and if God has told you that anything in your life, that it will happen, here's what I need you to do speak the word hallelujah it may seem as if God will not produce all of the things which we may desire but what I need you to know over that that event that keeps trying to hold you captive I need you to know Whatever that event is in your life that continue to keep you stagnated. Whatever that thing is that keeps coming back, knocking on your door. I need you to tell that thing. You can sit down and take a rest. Why somebody? Because if God said it, he will.
Right here, number one. 
It was accomplished. 
they start walking towards heaven. Yes, start walking towards heaven. In Jesus' name. Yes. So look, y'all who are here, if you don't know Jesus and you want to know him, come and see us right after service. Come and see us right after service. Those who are online, reach out to us. Connect with us. Those who may be watching with our, on Total Words of Stream, whether you're in Milwaukee, whether you're in the online, whether you're in the Chicago land region, reach out and connect with them. Connect with Apostle Baker. Connect with the leaders of Total Word. Connect. Those who are in spreading the word stream, connect with us. Connect with us. Grow with us. Regardless of where you at, join these churches. Join our churches. Join these churches. Even if you gotta work on Sunday, join. Even if you gotta, if you can't make it to church on Sunday, join. Do and grow. Connect yourself so that you can begin to be ushered again into heavenly places. Is anybody ready to see heaven? Is anybody ready to see heaven? Even while you may be going through hell, are you ready to see heaven while you're going through hell? See, because when you're going through hell and you can still see God, that's when you know that his word ain't going to return unto him void. Amen, somebody. Come on, put your hands together one more time. Join these churches. Join the church. Join the church. It ain't about you being perfect. But it's about you being a giant killer. <laughs> Is that right, told the word? It ain't about you being perfect. But it's about you being a giant killer. And you gotta know that you are a giant killer. You are more than able. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. More than conquerors. So guys, we're gonna get ready to get out of here. But before we go, again, we want to uh, leave some room right now for us to sow our seeds. We wanna sow our seeds. We wanna sow our seeds. We wanna sow our seeds. Let's move very quickly. Let's move very quickly. Those who are uh, who wants who want to uh, sow tangibly in the in the basket today that are in, in present that who are on who are in present in person today, uh, or otherwise we have three easy ways to give. We have three easy ways to give whether you're online or whether you are in the building. We have three easy ways to give for spreading the word. And somebody uh, uh, somebody text me. What is Total Words uh, giving information real quick, please? Amen. So we want we want to take this time. We want to sow. We want to sow. We want to be a blessing. We want to be a blessing. We want to be an encouragement. And we want to uh, we want to be faithful. We want to be found doing. See, one thing that I'm learning to do and growing in the grace of God, even in my even in my time of giving, is that. Sometimes there's a sacrifice that, that that we give. There's a sacrifice. We give sacrificially. We give sacrificially as well. But then we also we make sure that we give consistently. We give consistently. When we want, we, we, we want who in here I should ask the question. Who in here wants something big from God in the season? You want something big from God, right? Now the word tells us, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yes. The word tells us that we are cheerful. He blesses a cheerful giver. Yeah. We don't we don't give grudgingly. We ain't balling up our dollars. We ain't ball, we ain't having a bad attitude and saying it, when we are given via cash app or when we're given via Zelle or PayPal or whatever. We are not getting upset in our offering and in our giving. We are not even stingy in our giving. But we are cheerful. We are bountiful in our giving. What, what, did, uh, what did Abraham tell the servant 
when he was at that mountain with Isaac. He said that we are going to go off and worship and me and the lad are going to return. He was going to be willing to sacrifice cheerfully to be able to give. God is saying to all of us in this season and time that we are in, let's make a decision that we're going to give cheerfully. We're going to give cheerfully. We're excited about giving. So, how do we give? One, we give via cash app. We sow via cash app. Dollar sign all caps. STWM. Dollar sign all caps. STWM. We give via PayPal or Zelle. We sow at STWWCCHI at gmail.com. I'm still waiting for somebody to text me what total words giving information is. So we, we want to give, we want to be a blessing as well to total word. I need the electronic giving information. Oh, uh, the, the super friend got my number. So text me that information because we want to be a blessing. We want, we want those who are online to have the opportunity to be a blessing as well. While we're getting that information, we're going up there, coming around. We're coming around, and they're receiving your offering. If you're still writing checks, hell yeah. You can take your check to S T W W C or spreading the word, worship center. If you still the one that's going to write checks. If you don't want it, if you just got to get rid of all those chicks you got to get in the face, don't still work as well. All right? So we, we have to remember that part because we're so used to everything being digital. So we thank God for you. We thank God for you on today. We thank God for you on today. Again, stwwccchi at gmail.com. Yeah, that's for PayPal or Zelle. Or a dollar sign all caps, ST. W-M. So, is anybody going to give me that information yet? Did she send it to me? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I know why that is. Okay. I'm on, I'm on focus. <laughs> I'm on focus. That's why I didn't get no text message. Good. That, that, that's an that's a, um, a, a object message right there. So, I'm focused. Dollar sign. T-W-E-M, dollar sign cash app, T-W-E-M, or Zale, 773-441-7352. Again, cash app, dollar sign, all caps, T-W-E-M, Zale, 773-441-7352. All right, so we are thankful today. We are giving today. We are praising God today. We don't let y'all get out of here on today. We're going to let y'all get out of here, but let's remember that we are in Bible study on Wednesday night. We're in Bible study on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Then also, we want to be back here with on Sunday morning. Next Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. Next Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. So, if you never go to church, be at church next Sunday. If you never can, if you're, if you're always online, come to church next Sunday. Let's come together and let's fellowship and let's praise the Lord together next Sunday in person. Here, put that on the screen real quick. If you all have not uh, followed us on, on, on our social media platform, on our social media platform, please follow us, like our page at Spreading the Word Worship Center. All right, uh, praise and worship team, y'all ready? Y'all ready, praise and worship team? All right, so look, if, if, if you follow us and like us on uh, Spreading the Word Worship Center, when we go live for Sunday celebration or when we go live midweek for Bible study, you will get notified. Also, we want you to go now. Did anybody go to RevinaHolidayMinistries.com? And you know what? I'm, I'm going. You know, I'm going to hack her page, and I'm going to I'm going to put a nice little teaching up in the stead of of, 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 of Lady Regina Holiday. All right, so if she don't do it this week, I'm gonna hack a page. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find somebody. I'm gonna find somebody to help me hack a page, hack a website. Do uh, we gonna hack a website? Do and we gonna do it. We gonna do it. And then lastly, 
but not leastly. We need, come, come here, Case. Come on real quick. Come on, Case. Come on up here real quick. This ain't Wednesday, but you coming up. Come on right here, right here. Come on right here. Now, we, we need you all to do this for us. Not right now, but we need you all to make sure that you all go to YouTube. If you haven't been to YouTube yet, what you waiting on? Somebody say, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? All right, so go to YouTube. And when you go to YouTube, we want you to go to Bishop Jeff Holiday, H-O-L-L-I-D-A-Y. And what they gonna do, Casey? Ring the bell. Okay, what they gonna do? Ring the bell. Praise team, what are they gonna do? Ring the bell. All right, so we gonna ring the bell, and we gonna subscribe, we gonna like, we gonna follow. And then Tyler, come here real quick, come here real quick, come on. Come on, come on, real quick, come here. Do? Ring the bell. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so we're gonna say welcome back to my channel, right? So you know we're gonna tell you to welcome back to our channel on Wednesdays and on Sundays, alright? Everyone stand up on your feet. We just have a good time here and spreading the word. We just love to have a great time. It's all about family. It's all about love. It's all get out of here, y'all. Y'all bother me. Get out of here. Alright, so we thank God for this day. We thank God for this time. We thank God for Apostle Baker and the Word of God and total word. Everybody, put your hands together. Let's give God praise for our online churches. Let's give God praise for the Word. Let's give God praise for each other in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you right now. We honor you. We glorify you. We magnify you, Lord. We bless your name, God, for each and everything that has been said, that has been done. But for those who have driven and come to the house of God on today, personally, in person, those who are online in Milwaukee, across the country, Lord, those who are online, or, uh, online in the city, in the suburbs, God, that you are helping each and every one of us. You're growing us. Bless spreading the word. Bless total word, God. Bless total word in that Bible study on Thursday. Bless our Bible study on Wednesday. And Lord, bless us but equally and collectively, Lord, as we come together next Sunday for worship. And we honor you. We praise you and we give you glory until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, everybody, just give God praise one more time for each other. Have